Hello everyone, my name is Carrie, and on this channel I like to use cash envelope stuffing to help manage my variable income so I can pay off debt and buy my future forever home. Today is actually really exciting because I am filming on my birthday and we are in the process of selling our current home. We just went under contract with it and putting an offer on our dream house. So fingers crossed that we get that dream house. And today I will also be doing a cash condensing or like a cash swap, a bill swap of all of the money in my envelopes that are in my cash binders here and taking the money back to the bank to put in our savings to put towards various goals that we have, including moving into our new house. So let's get into it. As I mentioned, we're going to be taking money out of my binders and different savings challenges that have reached a specific threshold of money. So first off, we're gonna start with our $5,000 savings challenge, and we're going to put some placeholders here to represent the money that we're gonna be putting in the bank. So I believe we have one, two, three, four, four fifty, five hundred, and then we have 50, 70, 90, $100 right here. So I'm going to take one of these hundreds and this should be five. One, two, three, four, fifty, five hundred, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety, ninety five. Did I say five? One, two, three, four, and then this is five hundred. So I'm going to take all of these and put it in my cash tray. And then we're going to use this money to condense. I'm gonna put a $500 placeholder. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna use one of these. Um, so this $500 placeholder will represent the money that I'm putting in the bank towards our $5,050 challenge, which is probably gonna to go towards our moving costs. Um, right now, since we're moving into a new house from our old house, you'll probably notice that my setup is completely different than it normally is, and that is because we are uh, in the process of selling this house so I had to take down my desk and we're moving stuff around and then we will um, be moving into our new place. All right we are going to I don't think this needs to be taken out let's see we can do a 50 so we'll do this so we're just going to condense what we can take back to the bank what we can actually I'll just do a 100 um yeah and then um, that way we can kind of condense what we have in all of these envelopes. And then in addition to this, I am also gonna be unstuffing my savings challenges and taking that money back to the bank as well because every uh, month I wanna be able to put that towards extra goals. So we were going to be putting extra money towards um, debt, but since we decided to sell our house and buy a new one, we're gonna be putting that towards moving, moving costs and you know buying the home and all that kind of stuff. And then we will start again on our, because we're basically using the proceeds of this house, uh, the one we're selling, to pay for the new house and then um, also using it to pay off some debt along the way. So we will have much less debt even though our, our future house will have a higher mortgage. So 50, 70, actually let's do it like this, 20, 40, 60, 80, 105, let's see, 40, 60, 80, oh no, this is 100. Do I know how to count? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And then I'm going to take these two and put them back, grab 100. So this should be 155, yes. No, this should be 150, 75. Okay, that's correct. There should be 175 in this envelope. And then treat yourself, has a lot of 20s in it. And I do think I'm gonna take these out. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60. Okay, let's keep the best 20s. We'll take these. So this is 200. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Okay, I only have one, and then we'll do 250s. Um, I might be doing this a little bit 
backwards, but that's okay. I can always condense this envelope further, so that's fine. So I think there should be 360, 20, or 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, so that should be correct. 360 there. And then this one just has some small bills, so we'll probably put, let's see, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we'll do, and then 20. Okay. Yeah, so this is a really exciting time. We knew we were going to, my husband and I were going to, um, buy a new house this quarter, like coming up in the new year. If you notice, I went ahead and colored in all four weeks. I did my other cash stuffing off camera because as I mentioned in the middle of moving and everything, and it was just a lot to have to film. So um, I did it off camera. We did all four weeks of January. So we're actually taking this money back to the bank fully and then we will move on to February and every month that I use the savings, I will take it and unstuff it and put it in the bank, at least for now. So for January, we saved 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 555. So 155, we're just going to take it all back to the bank. And then that is it for this binder, which is our savings challenge binder. And then real quick, I'm going to take my 12 month savings box and do the same thing. So we did all four weeks for a total of $245 saved in January. So this plus my other monthly savings, I'm going to take it all back to the bank, which is around $500, I think, something like that, or this plus a couple other things. Okay, so we're gonna unstuff this. Um, but as I was saying, we knew we wanted to sell our house this year, earlier this year, and we wanted to buy our new forever home. Hopefully that's what our goal was. We didn't think it would come about so quickly. So we're trying to take advantage of it. We found a house that we absolutely love what we think is our dream home, but we are competing with other people. So we do just want to make sure that we can get it. So we're trying to move quickly, and sometimes that's how it is in life. You just move as fast as you can, as quick as you can, and um, take advantage of the opportunities as they come. So that's what we're doing. Of course, I would like to be more financially prepared, have more money in the bank, like, yes, all those things. <laughs> but you uh, just save what you can, and otherwise the opportunity will pass you by. So that's all you can do. All right, so this should be $245 for the month of January. So this is 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240, 245. Perfect. All right. We don't have any 100s left, but I don't think we're going to need too many of them. All right, we're going to start with our bills binder and our high priority funds here. I think most of this is going to 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So let's get... Let's move these bent 20s back. Are there some nicer 20s in here? Yes. Okay. Well, there we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, 120. Okay. And then we're going to put two 50s in here to consolidate it a little bit. And then we have extra debt. So I'm going to put this in the bank to put towards extra debt and then extra taxes I'm taking to put in the bank as well. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80 of that. I'm not going to put placeholders because I'm just going to restart this, both envelopes, um, at the beginning of each month. Quarterly subscriptions has 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So let's put a slightly nicer 10 and a 20 in here. So we still have 30. And I'm just condensing these bills as we need them because, all right, this one just has a 20 in there because I don't want my envelopes to get too full and I want to streamline everything as much as possible. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we'll leave this 10, grab a 20. Grab a nicer 20, 
Yes. Okay. Our trash and recycle is a quarterly bill. So I'm just putting this in here. And then if we get this new house that we're putting a bid on and we get the contract and everything, um, it has an HOA. It's like $40 a month or something. It's not terrible. So I will create an envelope for that as well. Annual expenses. Actually, uh, yeah, let's put a 10 in here. These aren't such really nice 10s. Mm, let's do this one. I did do a cash unstuffing. Um, I think that was off camera as well. And then I did my cash stuffing because I didn't have time to film it that day. We went out of town for my birthday weekend and I just didn't um, have the time to like set up for filming and stuff. But I did want to film this cash condensing because I love doing these videos. They're super fun to do and to watch. Um, and I love being able to like take all the money to the bank and put it in your savings and watch your savings grow. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So let's see, this is for medical. I think I am going to consolidate this with a couple of 50s. Um, yeah. So let's do two 50s. I was trying to think if I wanted to put a $100 placeholder because the placeholder just represents the money in the bank for a specific category but I think for now I'll leave it in the cash. 20, 40, 60, 80. That's fine. Copays are, this is only gonna have a little bit of money in it to cover copays because it's not a lot of copay. Uh, let's see, car registration, 10, 15, 20, 25. So let's do a really nice five and a nice 20. And all of my placeholders and binders and everything that I'm using is listed in the description down below if you are interested in the same stuff. Car Care has 50, 70, 90, 110, 15, 20, 25. So 125. So let's do two 50s. Um, let's get some nicer bills. Five twenty. Let's use this. Okay. This is so messy. Sorry about that. All right, so we should have one twenty five. So we have one hundred twenty five. Great. Car deductible is fully funded. We have one thousand dollars in the bank towards this. So that is totally condensed and fine there. All right, moving on to our last binder is our general sinking funds, sort of lower priority binder. Travel and trips should be already fully condensed. It has $500. I don't think I want to take, well, let's see. Do I want to take this money to the bank and put a placeholder here? Um, yeah, I think I do. One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. So now we have some hundreds again. Um, oh, I'm having a hard time getting this. There we go. So a five hundred dollar placeholder is going to go in here, and we will put that money in the bank. Christmas, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred dollars. I'm going to put that over here. And get a one hundred, because I'm definitely going to be saving more for Christmas this year. Lawn care, we'll just leave that for now. Has $40, that's a 20. Home decor just has 15. Electronics has 40. Not very many of these need to be condensed. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I think I'm actually gonna leave this in cash. Uh, yeah, because we take this out for family entertainment, family fun events, things like that. So, beauty has 20 in there. Let's see, skin care has 20. So, let's take a nice 20 for that. Clothing has 10. So, we'll put. Mm, this 10. 
And then we have a lot of fives and a lot of 20s to take back to the bank. Gifts has 10, 15, 20. And then special occasions, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 dollars. And I do think I want to put a $100 in here because we are just saving this for special occasions. This would be like um, when we're going to someone's baby shower or celebrating my parents' anniversary or something like that. It's other special occasions, attending a friend's wedding, those sorts of things. Okay, so let's add all of this up because um, we took money out of two envelopes plus all of the savings. So I don't know exactly the amount we need to have, but we will find out. Um, actually, let me do these 20s separately because that is a lot of 20s. But first, let's see how much money we are taking back to the bank in a really nice big pile. So this is the first cash condensing and bill swap for 2024, which is really exciting. We don't have as many hundreds as we usually do because we're just getting started again for the year with all of our goals and stuff. But here's what it looks like. A nice big... Lots of 20s, some 50s, some 100s, kind of laid out like this. Does anybody else watch um, Lily Budgets? I love it when she plays around with her money and stuff. Don't worry, I wash my hands too when I get done playing around with it. <laughs> All right, so we have 1, 2, 300, 354, $450 in 100s and 50s. So 450, 20, 40, actually let me put these over here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 920 in 20s. And I will recount this when I take it back to the bank just to make sure. Um, and I do have my balances for all of my accounts um, in my budget binder. So I know exactly how much this should be in each envelope. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars in tens. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100 dollars. 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. 130 dollars in fives. So it should be a total of $1,580 that we're taking back to the bank for savings challenges that we saved in January in addition to um, two accounts that have reached over $500 in our uh, envelopes for placeholders. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe for future videos just like this. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.